coach and athlete Dave Barons. And Dave, look, so far, if we could sum it up, things are pretty tight at the top, aren't they? Yeah, it's tight, really interesting. Like, everyone's doing kind of slightly different things. So It doesn't say loud. No, it doesn't even say loud. Lost. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're having to uh, readjust on stage. Anyway, that is our top ride having been suitably worked up. <laughs> drop into silence. <laughs> like a kid with sugar, isn't it? Just so wind them up and let squirrel. them go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Messi Schalk is underway on the lead side of this combined style format. Now, you can see his score, 80.5. Now, that will stay the same until he gets to the first scoring zone. And the first scoring zone is far away. Yeah, apparently they've not really backed off the start of this route either like they had in the women's like it's <laughs> kind of like full semi-final level is the word yeah that <laughs> is the word hard. they're not necessarily <laughs> expecting them to fall but it will tire them out so that is the medal positions you can see it indicated there that's where he needs to get to so that's for the provisional position like yeah, that will change the athletes climb. Look how bad that hand is. Potential knee bar may be in here. It looks yeah, like it from that angle. Maybe a bit too far out. Knee is when you no, maybe, press maybe the Adam, knee in. Yeah. yeah, with the height, that's true. Yeah. So the scoring zone near the beginning of the blue triangle. That's where the athletes aim for. You can see the line there. Quite a tricky beginning, this. Yeah. And these slopery pinches coming up. And remember, if the athlete falls now, and Mejdi has got that quick draw all tucked around behind him, and that's an awkward heel. Now, Mejdi, he's allowed to grab the quick draw like this, but he's having a nightmare clipping it. Gets in, yeah, he's allowed to grab the middle of it. <laughs> and double toes. Although any time you get a heel on in a league route, it's like so much weight off your arms. It's, this is why you see them putting it on all the time, like any opportunity. And you can see the toes, similar kind of thing with that. Or is yeah, it less toe, toe up is less so, but... There is the heel Dave was yeah. talking about, so that will allow him to rest yeah. a little. And pulls him, easy to pull himself towards the pocket as well. So. Now this move, the route set has told me, isn't as difficult as it looks, yeah. but it's certainly dramatic. Yeah, for the show. <laughs> and now Mejdi will start scoring points as he enters the zone. These five moves are worth one hot point each. And you can see the score will start now to build. He's got three already, and every move higher, he will get more of a score. So he now is nears the end of the first scoring zone. After this clip. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, true, he's missed it. You have to clip all the quick draws and you have to clip them in sequence. So Mejdi with a couple of early quick draw <laughs> issues that are making me nervous. And now these holes worth two points each. Oh, and he does fall. So was that a flipping medals, actually? So, Sam, once again, and if you're a Sam Abazi supporter, be nervous down low, because this start is not straightforward. It's immediately in with the heels, though. Sam crosses through. Now, if you use a hold, you get a 0.1 added to your score. And the de definition of used is uh, always an interesting one because it is up to <laughs> the judges. Okay, Jamie, you have to make a positive movement towards the next hold. Uh, if your hips, your hips need to move towards the hold, and you need to be seen to be trying to do it. Right. Yeah, you can't uh, just snatch up towards it in say a blind uh, hope. <laughs> the most common <laughs> appeals debate going on. Yeah, so we'll talk about that if it becomes more relevant. But yeah, that's what the judges have to have a look out for. And he's got, he has got a knee in there. Yeah, yeah I didn't like it's taking very much off, but. The athlete's not allowed knee pads like you might see sometimes in outdoor climbing where they have a pad section with some rubber on it to make that move less painful and more sticky. Bumping out under this volume. And it's so awkward, this being pushed back from the wall. You have to make this clip with the toe in. Or the heel. 
And now Sam gets ready to jump as he sets himself up. Not really an opportunity to rest yet. And a spectacular sequence launching. Here he goes. The feet will kick out. He hangs off that pocket. He does find a place to rest. Yeah. It's like he stood on the ground. <laughs> yes, yeah, true. I think I prefer Mejda's <laughs> dynamic style through that. <laughs> Almost at the points. Wait, sorry, he's in the points, in the now. points now. You can see that number one. So he starts scoring. 84.6 now. He scores. He crosses through. Now more points coming up. Two points for every move. Oh, that's interesting. Kicks the quick draw with his foot. You see the athletes flick it like that sometimes. Yeah. Usually with their hand, it's not very often with their foot, but... And why are they doing that? They're basically just trying to take a bit more. So if he'd had to clip that, reach all the way to that, it would be much more powerful. So it's just saving a bit of energy. By getting it closer By getting to closer, him. getting closer, so they catch it as it swings towards him. So advanced tactics there from these guys. Yeah, you can do that. You're not allowed to weight it or pull on it. Something I do regularly when I <laughs> So this is where Mejdi had his slip. Watch the heel. Different method. Yes. Mejdi tried to heel off his toe. Right, well, he's a few moves back now. Also, well, Sam moves into the lead. 103 Still points. Still looking really calm, isn't he? Yeah. A good position. You want to be fairly high on his quick draw. If you're reaching above your head, it's harder to clip. And Sam is into the big points. It falls on the setations. And Philip, you can just enjoy it. So there is the B layer I was talking about earlier. And his job is to keep that climber safe. I can't think. That route setting and judging has got to be the three most stressful jobs in the stadium. <laughs> Forget being an athlete. <laughs> so Philip, quick through this opening couple of moves. Try to keep calm, try not to overgrip and get pumped early on. You might think that holding onto the hold as hard as you possibly can is the way forward, but that just tires you out. Yeah, absolutely. It's all about holding on with the minimum amount of energy you can. And usually on these routes, there's a little uncomfortable move somewhere just to unsettle you and kick in that over. got to remember that <laughs> it's not that hard, it's okay. But it reaches down. This is where there's a kind of a knee bar by pressing the knee into there, the toe on the volume. But it is it's not great facing really the wrong direction. This yeah, probably looks pretty knee. bad. It's uh, hard to get a lot of pressure back into your knee. Yeah, probably more worth just doing what he's doing there. Hanging off with that straight arm, allowing him to rest. So look at that score 33.6 is what he's got. And there is the positions he needs to get to. So goal at the moment anyway. So we need to get pretty much to the top of the wall to get into provisional goal. Yeah. Philip on this awkward clip now. Does it with a toe. Leans backwards. Again, I think that's sort of one of those moves I was just talking about. It's like you want to clip it earlier because it's on a flatter world, but I think the position you clip in is actually fairly nice. It's just a little bit higher than you want to be. Yeah, so he commits to it, and it's committing as well, isn't yeah. it? You're leaning back on that toe. You want to take a hand off at that point. Straight into that sequence, no hesitation. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Philip is so strong. Leading with the feet at the moment. Big slip. Now that won't have tired him necessarily, but it certainly will have raised yeah. his heart rate. Yeah. A bit. Maybe a little bit out this far, like you automatically just snatch in really hard, like as hard as you can. And just took that earlier. So he's through the first scoring zone, he's starting to rack up those points. Ah. And pauses here. He's completely horizontal on the wall. This is where Medjdi fell, the first really difficult sequence. 
Cohen is dead. Yeah, three athletes, three different methods to hit. Finding rest where he can. It's either smart climbing or an indication he's tired. <laughs> There's the second, the last scoring zone line. And Philip is breathing heavy now. Last yeah. third of the route. Trying to climb through the sequence as quickly as he can. Trying to get to a slightly better hold. Provisional bronze coming up. Out into the pinches, kicks the foot to the right. This is good from Philip. Hard cross over here. <laughs> Not a lot for the feet either. You're really just right. smearing on the wall. All the weight goes onto one hand. Right. Has to cut loose, then gets a heel. And really needs to trust that heel to rock up. Right, really hard. <laughs> now that's the last yeah. quick draw on the wall. It's just pure climbing from now on. Oh, look oh, how right. it's a bad hole. <laughs> so horrible. <laughs> Slopey and blocked. <laughs> Out to the pinch, but what a performance from Philip. He knew what he had to do and he's doing it. That's provisional gold. <laughs> Finally goes one hole below the top, but you know what? That is fight. a heck of a really performance. <laughs> it just keeps going, doesn't it? So nods to the B-Lat. She's ready. And he is underway. Had a bit of a disappointing finals in the lead for him. Would have wanted to have gone a bit higher on him. Yakub is all about controlling his emotions now. Yeah. He's just got so much experience yeah. to draw from, doesn't he? So he'll know he'll be capable of doing this route, just whether he can execute it. Is it Jakob Schubert's day? Clips low, everyone doing the same thing. Two cups in a row. Doesn't get the knee, doesn't need it, doesn't want it. Oh, now thinks about it. He's just got to scrub him oh, with the right. Clear. So not a full knee bar, not locked in, but just enough to take a bit off those arms. This is the committing clip. Clip low. <laughs> there we go, he's possible. <laughs> Don't need to commit everyone. One of the best things about this sport is the different methods the athletes use. Yeah, depending on your body size, like what your strengths are. Like. So that's fourth place coming up. Here we go as he drops down, swings through, enjoying it up there. That move to an average normal person just looks outrageous but to them it's it's fairly it's like, simple isn't it yeah in the scale of the, of the route the holds are pretty big and like, they're pretty comfy hanging around with no no feet on it <laughs> the simplistic sequence is really good for us watching up to this quick draw and Jakob is scoring now watch it tick up so there's the positions he needs to get to for the gold, silver, and bronze. Provisional, we've got a few to come. Right, only halfway through this lead final. Dave Barron's joining me in the box here, Team GB coach and athlete. And it has been a brilliant comp so far. The last event for climbing for 2022 in the European Champs. Jakob tipping. Oh, has he wrong hand himself? No, he hasn't. No, it's not here, look. I think Jakob will quite like this, this section. He definitely likes to crimp. Okay. Yeah, watch those fingers. They'll be bearing down on the small holds. <laughs> Resting where everyone else has just been. <laughs> go, go, go. It's just outrageous, isn't it? 
The time is ticking. The athletes get six minutes to do this route. So he's got two minutes 45 left. I don't think time is going to play a difference in this. Look how that heel as well. That's a jack of his resting on something the size of a golf trainer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just to give you some perspective on it. Yeah. yeah. Out he comes towards the third and final scoring zone. The most points coming up. Gets the clip in now. These crimps are sharp, according to the root setters, and we'll be enjoying that. Yeah, in a way, it's almost a little bit easier on the lead route when it's a bit sharper to relax because you don't feel like you're going to slip. But... So he moves into the gold medal position, 135, but he want to put some distance between him and yeah, the rest. He's going to want to top. Yeah, I think he'll be disappointed with anything but. But this move is awkward as he gets the heel, rocks up to the pinch. And he can shake out, oh, which is good. Nice. Turns the lip of this lead walk. Drops the knee down, and this is looking strong from Jakob, but this next crimp is a savage one. And a oh, big, big jump, jump to again. finish. Springs, oh, and he peels off the top hold. Yeah, his right hand just went as he went, as he jumped. <laughs> Farming creating quite a buzz here in the heart of the city. Oh, it's such a good crowd in Munich. Yeah. We've done several years of the World Cup, so at the Olympic Stadium, which is unbelievable. Like, it's really special. But I think they've probably matched it with this venue. It's all right, isn't it? <laughs> Nikola underway, and that is one of the medals, or some of the medals. So you can see the graphic down on the right. Boulder is worth 100, max lead is 100. So the max score is 200 points. Shows you how close Jakob came to that, 175.6, the best so far. You to go, though. So Nikolai will enjoy that Remember section. <laughs> Remember to clip, yeah. He's looking a little bit awkward down low. Generally, you see boulders handling this by just climbing really quickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, that is pretty much the standard, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> it's better at power it's moves. Like, than generally, you have a certain amount of time on the wall, and it doesn't matter how, how many moves you do in that time. It's, uh... <laughs> yeah, Dave here would be, was an athlete. Well, he's still are an athlete, but yeah, just not, not, not so much anymore. Yeah. Right, Nikolai biting the rope, just to pull out a bit more slack in order to reach up to clip that. Like Jakob did, clipping it low rather than the high oh, toe. They were a bit just together, so. Ooh. His foot's shaking, that's how much pressure he's putting through it. So, will he use the possible rest here? Looking a bit tired as he comes through. Needs to clip somehow. <laughs> yeah. And now he finds it. Hard to see what he's doing with his feet. Thank you, Mr. Cameraman. That's a good angle. So he almost jams it in there. Yeah. Oh, and a very high left heel to rest. Oh, Nikolai falls just coming into the first scoring zone. It was a good effort. Yeah. It's a savage scoring, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> this is the thing, he does all that work, and basically I think he got one point there. Yeah, Jakob's 175, so he won't be able to get over that by scoring that 100. And then you get 161.7 max. Could still be a podium, though, depending on what happens with the others. Endurance does Alberto have here this afternoon? 
here. Some climbers call it resistance, some endurance, but it's just that ability to hold on when your arms are burning. Yeah, there's, a, there's a lot of turns bundled around. We've even made some up today ourselves. <laughs> Oh, wow. find it, it's okay, isn't it? <laughs> go with that. Onto that bad right print, but then an opportunity to shake out here. Didn't want to. Yeah, move quickly through it. Getting a few things, I mean, he's resting on... Well, he's chalking on the worst print. <laughs> Interesting. No, he's super fit. I don't think he really knows what pump is. So. Yeah, I think he would have seen a rest later on. He'd prefer to use. Because the thing is, we say rest. It's not like you're getting everything yeah. back in that position. It reminds me a little bit of Ramon. No. Never saw him take. Only sure cut in the blue one. Right. <laughs> So those are the climbers who have already climbed on this wall. Alberto into the points now. Scoring from every move he makes. Interesting with that toe. <laughs> Doesn't look at all restful that, but it's pretty good. Into the big points, two from now on. that quick draw as before and as we see uh, not possible to win gold because it can't beat Jakob's 175.6 he can get silver and bronze depending Alberto with the heel he won't know <laughs> obviously he can't see that graphic all he will be focused on is just getting as high yeah. as possible Right back to him. <laughs> really blocked up against the hold. You can't get your fingers behind it. Yeah. Horrible. And check out our camera because there are spots of rain on that camera lens. Now, rain is always interesting. It's not going to affect the wall necessarily, depending on how hard it is, but it does just bring an element of moisture into the air. Yeah, the humidity will have gone up a little bit. Oh, it's been pretty humid here today, so <laughs> hopefully not. Yeah, but a few spots kicking around. Not what you want, especially if you feel it. But Alberto is ignoring it as he climbs upwards. There's the silver medal position. He's into the medals now. Provisional. Well, he'll be sheltered from any of that by the big panel above him, so... Final quick draw in. Just the head wall. That last, still overhanging, but... Less so section of wall, but the holds get smaller and sharper and nastier. Yeah, he's fighting hard. This is brilliant. But he might be about to go. It looks awkward and he does slip. Slaps for the point zero. Yeah, he didn't have point a one. <laughs> now, so a few jumpers going on, a couple of jackets, but generally no one's going anywhere. And why would you? The final two athletes of this final, they are underway. In fact, Jakob's guaranteed silver, isn't he? Yes, he is, because Luca can't get up into the podium spot. Well, he can get to the podium, he's getting to bronze, but yeah, nothing else. Leslie Schenk, currently in bronze medal position. Dual text there means you just have to be careful. You don't want to stand on the wrong bit of that. No one wants an early fall. A lot smoother than Nikolai was through this section. You realise how difficult it is, though, when you're watching someone struggle a bit more. Yeah, I think Luca might have liked the through quite a lot. Well, he is a specialist, isn't he? He didn't have the greatest bouldering round, but this is where he can really shine. Pull something back. And again, really good on prints. This... DJ drops a tune in the background. The audience not dampened by the ray. They're up for it. Easily through that clip. It's a bit tricky. It's 
so here we go the dramatic sequence coming up on the pockets potential rest before oh and the cut loose though seem to control so it i think you'll be able to take that back out with this commits to the swing now no going back from this point onwards oh little bit awkward into the pocket stacking those fingers oh. there is space for two I think you've got three in there, I think. Yeah. Ah, OK. It's weirdly stuck the middle finger on the back of the index and ring. It looked right. odd, didn't it? <laughs> Into the points. That clock just keeping him on his toes. Can't hang around forever on this, nor could you. Holds are just too bad. into the second scoring zone. Looking for a knee bar down there. I think he had his hand just wrapped around the rope and he's just trying to get it out of the way. Okay. Yeah, rope management can, and we've seen a couple of times this championship just getting in the way, yeah. causing some problems. Don't want to get a leg stuck in the wrong place. You can't sort of burn your leg when you fall. Tipping up behind his head, he's into the two point per move zone. <laughs> Leaning backwards, using his core to keep the tension. Still looking really fast. Yeah, still hasn't moved off the bottom spot though. <laughs> okay. This is the thing with this style of competition and scoring system. If you do do less well in that boulder, you have so much to do coming into the lead. Yes. Almost yeah. in seventh now. <laughs> and now starting to move up the rankings. So there is bronze. Five points per hold on this, so everyone he gets. Yeah, really starts picking him up that leaderboard. Bit of an awkward clip, this right by his face, gets it in. That elbow starting to come up a little. Yeah, starting to fight a little bit now. Rotates out. He's going to have to quite do quite a big move and a cut loose into the heel. And this just looks so awkward. He's going to go up with the right hand into the pinch, gets it. Keep the pressure on that heel. Try not to let it pop as he comes out into the pinch. He's not clipping, which means he's almost done here. All right, well, Dave, hang on a sec. Why wouldn't he have wanted to go for the clip there? We're going to check out this hold. This is where Adam Ondra needs to get to. That final crimp up on the lead wall. It's not the most wonderful hold to have to get to. This is the same point of Jakob, but... I don't know about you watching at home, I am nervous here. <laughs> I, I need to choke up. <laughs> I do, yeah. <laughs> Sweaty hands in the commentary box. Adam Ondra underway. And remember, no points at all down low. Adam cruises through the initial moves. And you said he's taller, yeah. and that knee bar looks way better. First one to really utilise it properly, and you can see what that does to his arms. Yeah, a good knee bar, you can basically take your hands off him. Oh, I thought Adam, yeah, he does kick down low. Heel hook as he shakes out between moves, micro shaking. Yeah, he won't actually be pumped yet, but that's all part of the management of... If you do a little one every time, then it builds up to quite a lot. Tactics from Adam as he gets those feet wedged into the crack-like feature oh. in there. Double stacked, I think, and a huge <laughs> high clip. <laughs> Smart climb from Adam. I don't know if he spotted that, but that was a bit risky. <laughs> Drops down into the pinch.
Well, we thought things were tense when Yanya was in this position yesterday. This seems even more exciting. Yeah, it looks like Adam is feeling a little bit of pressure on it. Yeah, a couple of little errors from him. Will they stack up? Oh, look at this. A little half fumble. Jakob Schubert, remember, is currently in gold medal position. He's the guy in a black hat on the left of his screen. That's the heel yeah, Medjdi pretty, popped on. Funny position for Jakob, for the like, he'll want Adam to do well, but also be willing him to fall off at the same time. It's, uh... <laughs> yeah, he's got a camera in his face. So Adam is goes up for it. Remember, that gold position is up there on the head wall. That's what Adam wants to get to, needs to get to for a gold medal. Sixth at the moment, 110 his score. Now moves into the big points, five for each move from now onwards as he drops over to the right, looking... Looking front closely, yeah. Right, Adam needs to recover something here. Ooh, that right arm, tense. As he shakes and he's going to drop back oh, down. Man. He is trying pumped. To go, trying to shake out. <laughs> Adam needs to find some recovery here. Crosses through. This heel might be a bit awkward for him. He's a bump up with the right hand, shaking all the way as he gets higher. Last quick draw in. He's in silver now. Deep breaths. Yeah. Can he find something in the last few meters of this wall? This could be it. No, he's still there. That's gold. Oh, but he drops it going up. Gold silver. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to say thank you for Dave for joining me here in the commentary box. Absolute pleasure to have you as always. Thanks, thank you. Thank you. And as we say goodbye to Com Climbing at the European Champs for 2022, we look back on a wonderful...